I need some water. Folks, have you ever looked at a glass of water and wondered what would happen if I stuck a pencil inside of it? Well, if I put a pencil in the empty glass, well, clearly nothing happens, right? I mean, my pencil is perfectly fine, unobstructed. But look what happens if I put my pencil in the water glass. You can see that the pencil looks like it's being bent, right? It's being bent by the water. But is it actually bent? No, we can just take it out of the water and it's fine. But if we put it back in, it looks like somebody bent it. Why? What's happening? Well, here I've got some water and let's pour it into the empty glass and let's see what happens. As I pour in the water into the empty glass, you'll see that the pencil looks like it's bending more and more and more until finally all the water is in the glass and look what's happened. The pencil now looks like it's been bent. But is it really bent? No, we can just pull it out of the water and it's fine. So what's happening? Light is happening. Light is being refracted. When light is bent, it's being refracted because light is traveling between two mediums. Light is traveling between air and water. And light is slower in water because water has a higher index of refraction. And so when light gets to water, it becomes slower. And that's why you see the pencil being bent like this because the light rays have to bend because they're getting slower, because they're in water, which has a higher refractive index. Let's check out the math and see what's happening.